Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to cover the market listing profile section in the Argus Excel model. Market listing profile is a set of listing assumptions I defined what will happen after the existing leases expire. There are two possibilities after the lease expiration. The first one is the tenant renews the lease and stay. The other possibility is the current tenant leaves and the new tenant comes in, which is also called the rollover. The market leasing profile considers both possibilities. Rather than defining future leasing assumptions tenant by tenant, I can create three types of leasing profiles that can be assigned to individual tenants. Three benefits are coming with this function. First, it is a time saver. I can avoid creating the same set of leasing assumptions repetitively for different tenants. Secondly, I can generalize future leasing assumptions into three types, major tenant, media tenant, and minor tenant, which simplifies the underwriting. That being said, this model still allows me to make different assumptions on each tenant and this topic will be covered later in another video. Third, I can review all future leasing assumptions in just three rows and compare them easily. I will start with the definition of different types of tenants. I will say the minor tenants is the tenants that occupies a space of less than 3,000 square feet. The medium tenant occupies a space of greater than 3,000 square feet and less than 10,000 square feet. Naturally, the major tenant is the tenant that occupies a space of greater than 10,000 square feet. I will also note that these inputs are optional, which means they are not part of the calculation and they only provide information for someone looking at this model. The category names are also information based. Let's move to the market rent input. I will input the current market rent for different types of tenants and these rent rates will be inflated by the annual market rent growth in the other assumptions section, which I will cover later in another video. As a rule of thumb, the market rent increases every year with the inflation. A lease expires in 2020 will renew at a market rent of 2020, and the lease expires in 2021 will renew at a 2021 market rent in the back end of this model calculation. The difference is 2021 market rent is inflated by the annual market rent growth factor one more time than the 2020 market rent. This functionality captures the inflation in the economy and results in a more accurate financial forecast. In the real world, I would need to do my market research to see what comparable properties are charging their tenants to come up with the market rent. I will simply input the annual market rent of $19 per square foot for minor tenants. Generally speaking, the larger the space the tenant occupies, the less expensive the per square foot rent will be. I will input $18 for the medium tenant and $17 for the major tenant. Let's move on to lease term fields. I will input 84 months for major tenant's lease term and 60 months for both medium and minor tenants. Let's jump over to the renewal probability. I will say for all types of tenants, the probability for the existing tenant to renew the lease is 65%, which means there is a 35% probability for rollovers. Once the tenant leaves, it takes time to get a new tenant in, and the space will stay empty for a while. So I will say 12 months downtime for major tenants, 6 months for medium tenants, and 4 months for minor tenants. Generally speaking, the large spaces usually take more time to lease than the small ones. Owners typically will engage a broker to help them with the leasing activities. And the leasing commission is calculated as a percentage of total rental payment over the life of the lease. For example, a broker helps to secure a lease of five years and the annual rent is $100,000. 
So the lifetime payment of the tenant is five times a hundred thousand, which equals to five hundred thousand dollars. The leasing commission is five hundred thousand times three percent equals fifteen thousand. In my case, I will input six percent for new tenants and three percent for renewed tenants. If the owner takes care of the leasing efforts by themselves, I could fill in zero for both new and renewed tenants. After the tenant moves in or renews, the owner will offer an allowance to configure the space for the needs of the tenant. This allowance is also called tenant improvement. The tenant will pay any amount over the allowance out of its own pocket for its configuration. For the major tenant, I will say tenant improvement is thirty-five dollars per square foot for new tenants, and fifteen dollars for renewed tenants, as the renewed tenants tend to make minor changes to their existing space. For medium tenant, twenty-five dollars for the new tenants, and ten dollars for renewed tenant. For minor tenant, fifteen dollars for new tenant, and five dollars for renewed tenant. Another incentive that the owner offers is free rent. For major tenant, I will input five months for free rent for new tenants and five months for renewed tenants. For medium tenant, I will input three months for new tenants and two months for renewed tenants. For minor tenant, two months for new tenants and zero months for renewed tenants. For reimbursement method. I will fill in the triple net for all types of tenants. If I choose the fixed amount, I will also fill in the annual fixed amount in the next column. Let's scroll back to the left. I can see a tenant improvement of twenty-two dollars. This is the weighted average of the new tenants and renewed tenants tenant improvement I just input, and the weight is the renewal probability of sixty-five percent, as this formula shows. The same goes for the free rent period and the leasing commission. These weighted averages will directly go into the calculation in this model. There's a field called free rent outside lease. If I select yes, then the major tenant is going to stay for 89 months in the next lease term, equals to 84 plus 5. If I select no. Then the major tenant is going to stay for 84 months in the next lease term, because the free rent period is included in the lease term. In other words, the tenant is paying rent for 79 months out of the 84 months. I'm going to select no for all three types of tenants. I complete the market leasing profile section in the Argus Excel model. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.